they say something before? Yeah, but... Cabin. We're at one of our two cabins. I feel like I always explain this on the vlogs, but we own two cabins in Pine Top. One of them is fully renovated. We usually stay there. This one is not fully renovated. Hopefully renovating it soon. Stay tuned for updates. Um, but it's really cozy and really cute. So we have other family members staying at the 1975 cabin, the one that we usually stay at. So we're staying here and we're getting ready for Thanksgiving. We're about to go on a walk. I'm all bundled up. I got this black Fabletics puffer a few weeks ago and I've worn it so much. The hair is looking honestly fire today. Thank you. Literally incredible. You How's it so thick? Fire? This is what I'm going for. You're doing better than me. Me and Keaton, our hair, well, now that I, I got my hair done yesterday, but we did a little like test and it was, remember how close it was? It, it was like looked identical color, but. Now it's a little bit off. Mine's like a little more brown. Getting my hair done. This is always a very humbling experience during this stage. <laughs> Get my hair washed. They just rooted my extensions, put some color in it. It's looking great. Um, look who I found. I found Summer, my friend Zoom. I'm going I love brown, that. and I'm nervous. It's good that Jason's here with me. She's going, she's getting her hair darker. We'll show you guys the results of our hair, but I haven't seen Summer in like legitimately three years. Three years. <laughs> which is crazy. We were saying it doesn't so feel weird. that way because we obviously see each other on social media, but it's been a minute. So we're about to have a little glow up together. Oh yeah. We'll keep you updated for the results. Fresh extensions. They're so long and healthy. Um, I'm eating some lunch right now. A little mini chimichangas. And some rice. This outfit. Okay, I, I need to change my pants, but look at our hair guys. My this hair's is black. It looks so good. We still need to do our makeup. <laughs> I'm doing so my makeup right now. We're not at the final, the final step yet, but the hair is looking <laughs> good. If yeah. pilgrims were still alive, what would they be known for? If who? Pilgrims? pilgrims. Their age. <laughs> That's what a good a one. What that sound, one is good. <laughs> what sound does a turkey's phone make? That one. Wing wing. What would a turkey be called? <laughs> If you guys saw on TikTok, I posted that my mom texted me and she's like, surprise, you're in charge of making the pies. Here's the recipe I'm following. Jilly's apple pie in a bag. So, so far I've done the pie crust. Check it out, check it out. And now we're gonna make the filling with my assistant. With my assistant. <coughs> it's oh, pitch hey black, it's legitimately pitch oh. black. <laughs> so, I'll be doing the cutting today. <coughs> It, even a gentle, even if you use the backside, comes off. We need to do the filling. We're using this device to core the apples. Nice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, everyone's different. It's so here's the little apple, and then we're gonna slice it. Here's the apple with no skin on it anymore. <laughs> Not one ounce of skin. <laughs> Keaton and Tate are my honorary brothers this holiday weekend because my brothers are both on church missions, so. Place. I was just saying you guys are my brothers for the weekend. Been replaced. They are Sorry, Jake. Yeah. Sorry, they are my brothers, the but my, wow. they're my biological brothers now. Did, did Tate say something before? Get it, brother. Okay, next, dude. Be dirtying it for no reason. I thought it was dirty. Please. Oh, I'm Ariana Grande who sleeps right now like this the whole time. You can do the next. Look, there's six more apples in there that you guys can do. Is that right? Mm hmm. Mine might be. Is it okay to have some skin on it? Yeah, it's fine. Nice. Cute. My nipples got too cold out there. Oh, I cannot use any of this vlog footage because y'all be. Are you still? I didn't know you were too recording. controversial. Okay. Time for the green apples. You could call them Granny Smith apples, even. Okay, this is the worst angle on planet Earth, maybe. Oh, this Look at the apples, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just take it. <laughs> no, it's Take it over, guys. Why did you close the door? You left it open. You left it open. You walked out. No, you guys. Should I? Guys, you're arguing on Thanksgiving. 
California Hey, you told me literally in 24 hours ago that you can hate California and you never want to live there. Did I say that? Yeah. Four I say that every time I'm like, you should come out and even just visit. You're just like, you no, I hate California. You don't want to visit? Can, sorry, can someone grab those? Take the trash. The trash. Oh. 24 hours ago. Oh my gosh. Casey, okay. I am sick and tired of picking up the trash. Sorry. You want me to cut the next one? Yeah, you're just gonna go flying. No. Oh, See, because you're putting it like that. I cut it actually the time. Cut <laughs> That's how I, when I first met you and I went on my first date with Lake, that's how I remember you. What? Like, just like dancing. Yeah, because really? I'm like 12 years old. Yeah. That was, was and Tate, you were quiet. And Keaton was like, great. Like, I thought that he was yeah, like a really like. Bad kid. No, not bad. Yeah, kid. It's an annoying kid. Like, no, crazy. problem child. Like, someone you don't like at all. It's not like, wait, see. You still watch TikToks on Instagram only. It's spicy. What? You are the person no. that I hate. No. Sees the TikToks later and is like, haha. It's like, we've been there. We've been there, done that. Okay, now I pulled it back so I could recut this part. I. Oh, that was. That's if you guys didn't see that at home, smash the like button. If anyone wants to make this at home, all you need is apple cores, apple skin, and a little bit of salt. Horrible. <laughs> Alright, what? Wow. Look at that. Really use all of this? Mom, do we have to use all the apples? Bang. The crumble? Is there a crumble? Yeah. Yes. Great. Flour, sugar, and butter. That's it. Just put the toppings on the pies and we'll see how it goes, everyone. A beautiful Thanksgiving tradition. One of my favorites. Here's the final pie, you guys. It looks really good. I also got a pumpkin pie, tapioca pudding, and more pies and desserts. Wait, what is this? Cream? Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Game. It's on right now. We just went to a little gym up here. The lighting's horrendous, so I'm gonna end this vlog clip. But we also went to the grocery store to pick up some vanilla ice cream for pie that we made, and we're gonna eat some tonight for dessert. We are back in California. You guys saw our apple pie making process. The apple pies were delicious, in case you were wondering. They were a success, which was awesome. We were just hanging out with my family and just living life. So we really didn't do that much. Like honestly, we kind of just like went on walks, played some games, played code names if you guys have played. I don't know where to set this camera right now. It was a great time. It was so fun. I'm so happy that we got to go down. It also, there was so much traffic. The reason I can't set you guys in the normal spot is because there's this phone case thing. Okay, whatever, I'm setting you guys right here. There was an insane amount of traffic to Arizona and back from Arizona. Um, I think a lot of people just travel there for the holidays. It literally was, took like eight hours to get there and eight hours to get back. So we had like two huge travel days. I just made myself a little iced chai and I am at Facial Lounge right now. I'm not getting a facial today, but I'm stopping by to get some products. I tried calling them and they didn't answer. So I'm going to be so mad if they're not open. Um, not mad at them, just may maybe mad at myself for wasting time, but it just like was an automated message, but they should be open until 6 p.m. So I'm gonna go get some new products because I ran out when I was in Arizona of this serum that I've been using from them. And then I wanna get an SPF from them. I ran out of the one that I was using, so I wanna see what they have for options. So I'm gonna go run in there and I'll show you guys whatever I end up with. I'm wearing this new sweatshirt from Ivan March and Sobri K. Did I say that right? I hope so. 
it's a French word, I believe. But how cute is this? These are two of my friends that collaborated with their businesses and I love it so much. I just got it in the mail. I ordered it before I left for Arizona. And when I came home, it was on my porch. So very happy about this purchase. I'm also wearing my yoga pants from Brandy that I got tailored. Best decision to finally go to the alterations place, tailor all my Skims bottoms. Like I was telling you guys, all the pants that I have from Skims, I wore them in Arizona to bed and they just were so much better because they weren't like this much too long on my very short legs. So I'm wearing these yoga pants. They're like flare, but I had them altered so that they don't drag on the floor. I'm back. Okay, I got a few things. Let me show ya. I haven't done my makeup in like, I don't know how long it's been. I think I maybe did my makeup one time while I was in Arizona. So my skin has just been breathing, living its best life, which has been great. So this is the serum that I restocked on that I ran out of. I am obsessed with this stuff. It's called the facial in a bottle. It smells so good. It's supposed to like firm your skin, reduce redness. I put it on every morning after I cleanse. Actually, I haven't even been cleansing in the morning. I've just been splashing my face with cold water and then putting this on and then moisturizer. Um, I got this moisturizer, this Lux Calming Facial Cream. So this is similar to the sleeping mask that I have. I have the like whipped uh, sleeping mask from them and I love it for nighttime because it's like very hydrating. This is also very thick and looks amazing. So I just tested it out on my hand. It's very hydrating and she said if I have drier skin, which I definitely do. I have combination skin, but I, I feel like my skin runs more dry, especially in the winter months. So I'm gonna be using this probably in the mornings. Um, and then I bought this SPF. They don't have any of their own brand of SPF, which I thought they did. So I bought this Kula Mineral Sun Silk Cream. Never used it. I'll let you guys know what I think. I hope it doesn't make me break out because some sunscreens do. SPF is very important to put on your face, especially I feel like I, I'm just so terrified of like melanoma, especially having very fair skin. I just feel like my skin is very sensitive to the sun. And so I just try and be really cautious with that. So anyway, those are the three things I got. If you're wondering, if you use Curology too, because I use Curology, people always ask me like if I ever change up any of my products, and the answer is yes. Like I will use random cleansers and like exfoliators and serums and moisturizers, but the thing I keep constant, which I also do use Curology like cleanser very often, and I use their moisturizer a lot too, but sometimes I just want to switch it up and I feel like my skin likes to have things switched up, but the one thing that I always remain constant with is my Curology prescription cream at night. So if you guys, I don't know, for all my Curology gals out there, that's what I do, that's what works for my skin. It's very easy if you just want to stick with the three, the cleanser, the moisturizer, and the prescription cream from Curology, like that's great and you totally can. Um, I just like, like I love skincare and I love experimenting and I get sent a lot of stuff as you guys know to try out and so I just like to switch it up so that I can see what products I like. I just don't want to use the same three products every single day only because I just am obsessed with skincare. So that's the only reason for that. I'm listening to a podcast right now, The Skinny Confidential, and it's all about weightlifting specifically weightlifting for women. I think it's such a good episode. I love weightlifting. I kind of talked about this a while ago. Like I was trying to do more like calm exercises, like yoga and stuff, especially when I was going through my fertility journey. And you need to do whatever works for you and whatever exercise like speaks to you and just like makes you feel really good. I fully believe that. But I love weightlifting. I always have. Like ever since I got into it a few years ago, I was just like, I love how I feel when I lift weights. That's what gave me the most change in my body as far as like my strength. Like I genuinely would see a difference of me getting stronger when I was lifting weights. Anyway, I took a kind of a hiatus because I was just like scared to be doing super intense workouts um, when I was going through my fertility treatments and stuff. And then when we kind of were taking a break, actually, and then I talked to my doctor and she was like, you can still weightlift. Like if your body's used to that, like there's no problem. So then I started kind of weightlifting again. Anyway, weightlifting can be really good for you. And I feel like a lot of girls are scared of it because they don't want to get like bulky or something. But weightlifting is so, I just love it so much. It's like my favorite form of exercise by far. And like I said, I feel like shows me the best results and I've gotten a lot stronger from doing it. I've been out of my like routine of it because I've been doing random workouts. Um, I feel like I say this like every few months. I'm like, okay I haven't been sticking to a super consistent routine and it's fully just like all excuses But I feel like because we moved and then I was like, oh, are we gonna start doing CrossFit again? And then I started going to this random gym and doing classes and then Leif and Keaton's <coughs> Getting like cinnamon caught in my throat from that chai 
Um, and then Leif and Keaton set up our at-home gym in the garage again. And so then I was sort of working, at ho working out at home. So I haven't like been consistent with like a very solid workout routine or like a program or anything because I was like, wait, should I get a gym membership? Like I was, when I went to, even when we went to Tennessee, I went to the gym with Kristen and I was like, I miss going to the gym and like using the machines and lifting weights at a gym. Um, because at our, at our home gym, we don't have like all the different cables and all that type of stuff. We only have like dumbbells pretty much and a squat rack and bench. So I can do a lot, but anyway, so I'm just like, ah, what do I want to do? And then I'll just do random workouts like two to three times a week, but I haven't been seeing the results that like I would love to see. So I'm going to start weightlifting more frequently and I really need to decide if I want to do it at home or if I want to get a gym membership to use more equipment, but I think I'll probably just start at home. Maybe I can like take you guys through some of my workouts. Cause I feel like I definitely can do that if I'm doing it at home. Um, but I'm like ready to get on my fitness grind, which the holidays not the best time to maybe do that because it's like I don't know I shouldn't say that anytime's a good time but you know a lot of people wait for the new year but I'm like why wait let's just get it going doesn't mean you have to be perfect and like not eat your favorite holiday food by any means but it's like why not just make a change now you know it's kind of how I've been feeling lately I've been just really drawn to weightlifting so this episode just like came at a perfect time because I was like oh I've been like so interested in getting back into weightlifting more often and more frequently um I'm gonna end this vlog here actually I know this vlog is kind of random but I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm dangerously close to 100k guys dangerously it would mean the world to me if you guys would subscribe subscribe and smash that like button I'm now going home to eat acai bowls Leif brought me home an acai bowl and it's waiting for me. So I got to get going. I love you guys. You guys are the best people in the world. Never forget it. Thanks for being my besties and I will see you next week. Bye.